Hello, I'm Wayne Robb, a blacksmith docent here at the Stagecoach M Museum in Newbury Park. This is the Fred Hunt Blacksmith Shop. The wood was donated from the Canal Recreation Park District from a barn that was up in the Dos Vientos area. And the uh, Hunt family donated the uh, blacksmithing tools and equipment and also the money to build this. I'm going to turn you over to Claudia and I'm going to go start on a project. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Wayne. So the blacksmith shop, as Wayne mentioned, was uh, built in uh, 2013. It's the newest building on the museum complex. We're going to go inside and we'll talk more about the tools that the Fred Hunt family donated. First, we're going to start with a picture of Fred Hunt. This was taken uh, in the early 20th century when he was the blacksmith on the Salto Ranch. Um, we'll we'll uh, talk about the anvil. This was Fred Hunt's anvil. And uh, the forge, of course, was Fred Hunt's. We've had to modify it a bit to um, use it in this building because the fire department wouldn't let us use it without a chimney. So we use Fred Hunt's forge and uh, his tools. The, the tongs were his as well. He made the tongs and we use these during our blacksmith demonstrations. Now I wanted to show you the map of the Salto Ranch. This uh, takes in 950 acres and uh, Fred Hunt was the blacksmith on the Salto Ranch. His family owned this ranch until 1968 when the Lynn family and the Jans Corporation purchased it and today it's known as Lynn Ranch. Hey, let's go talk to Wayne and see what he's working on. Hi, this is Susan Robb, my apprentice for the day that's working the bellows. The bellows is forcing air up through the bottom to make the coke burn hotter. And uh, it's getting there. We uh, have to have safety equipment when we work in here, a glove for the handle that's going to hold the uh, prop, the tongs, and we have to have ear protection and goggles. A uh, full-time blacksmith shop, or blacksmith, was usually deaf by the time he was 40 for all the hammering sounds. There we go. The metal has to be at least in the orange uh, range to work at all. And try and get it up closer to the yellow. If it gets past the yellow, it turns into a sparkler. That's something the blacksmith doesn't want to see because he's actually burning up his material. Now you can still work the material until it gets gall. At that point, you're just wasting your time. The project I'm working on is a uh, butter or cheese spreader, and Claudia will show you an example of it. And uh, right now I'm flattening the blade. So, what Wayne is working on is a cheese knife or a butter spreader. He's going to make this little twist in the handle, which is fancy. The first thing we had to learn in order to become a blacksmith here is a barn hook. We had to learn how to make all these curves and twist the handle. This is the 
nail part that would go into the wall of a barn. We also make little projects that we can sell in our emporium. We make horseshoe hearts. And our current project that we are working on is a horse head hook. It starts with half of a horseshoe and then it gets uh, shaped along the way into a horse head and then the hook is put on. Thank you for joining us today at the Stagecoach Inn Museum Blacksmith Shop. If to check when we're going to be open for demonstrations, check our website. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you soon.